Hi Divas, it's Anna coming to you with a Pro 31 Designs Projects. <laughs> and um, uh, my little tripod broke and you know the part that goes in, the little screw that goes inside your camera? That piece broke inside my camera so I cannot even begin to tell you how bummed I am because now I can't get that part out to use on my taller tripod. So I had the small one and then I have my tall one but because that stuff, it, the little it's like a plastic type screw type thing is stuck in there I can't get it out I can't even twist it to get it out to use it on my tall one so yes I'm very sad and upset <laughs> that my camera is ruined now because I don't know how, any other way to try to get that out so this way it unfortunately it has to sit on the table and I'll pick it up when needed, but I know that a lot of people don't like to see shaky videos, and I know I don't, I'm not a fan of it either, because it's very hard to see stuff when everything is all shaking around. So I'm going to do my best um, to uh, make, manage, and I'll figure something out later, because right now I can't do nothing about it. So um, I had mentioned before that we have a, a design team challenge amongst team members at Pro31, and the first one I showed you was the um, the shabby chic uh, mini I did for Esme. So now I'm going to show you the card that we're supposed to do and the stick pins you've already seen because I made those right when she had announced we were going to do that. So I'm going to use three of the ones that were in there. And um, and then I also had made her a stick pin cushion for them to go inside of. Okay, so let's start with the card. Okay. As you see here, this is a crisscross card. Let me let me move this out of the way. Sorry. Okay. Let's see if you can see it. Hmm. Let me lift it up a little bit so you can see what kind of card it is. Okay. It's a crisscross card, and um, lovely scrapping on YouTube showed a tutorial on how to make these. You use one 12 by 12 sheet to make it, and I love it because it's very sturdy and it turns to be a six by six card or envelope you should say, um, or I should say it's an envelope at that side and you take you about, about a quarter of an inch to do your inside card on, all around. Um, but anyways, right here is an I Am Roses Gardenia. These are my favorite flowers of all flowers um, of, as far as the paper flowers that they have um, is these ones. I love, love, love gardenias. They're so beautiful. And then these right here, I had in my stash, these little flowers right here, and they're like a peach color. Then right here, there's a doily, if you can see it. It's a little tiny doily back there that was gifted to me by Patricia, YouTube, to view Master One. And then right here is a Pro 31 um, little wheat sprays. It's like a light green color. And then these pearls right here were out of my stash. They're like a peach color. And then this right here is a stick pin I made. And this is like a pink color butterfly. It's so cute. And then I have a Swarovski crystal and a pearl that's back there. You're not going to be able to see it, but you'll be able to see this um, butterfly. Then this was a vintage button out of my stash. And then um, this right here is a die cut. And I put little um, pearls all the around. And then this right here is from Joanne's. It just says, live each day with kindness, happiness, and a smile. And then this right here is an MFT die. I absolutely love it. See, I have two MFT dies, and that's only because they were in the budget. <laughs> not that they're not worth it. I'm not going to say that because I'm sure they are. But ugh, I can't do $30 for one die. And believe me, I'm tempted every time I go on there to do it. So it does sit in my, my cart. <laughs> but not yet. And then this right here is a Pro 31 um, trim. So it's like a silk here and then a lace here. It's like a cream color. It's my favorite. It was the first design team package that Esme sent me. And she sent me like a bunch. Now I'm down to probably maybe about six or eight inches of it. And I use it all the time. So that's like, I love it. I absolutely heart it. Okay. So that is the front. And then the back, There's it's just created by Anna Fias. It's another stamp that I have. And then the inside of the card. And then right here is the London Market paper. So I lined the inside all the way in the back with the London Market, which was in my guest design team for April. And um, I used this paper for the inside. And then this right here is also the London Market too. I absolutely love this paper. I think I have four sheets left. 
because I used most of it on the mini that I made for her. And then I just used a nasty die for this right here. And then I'm going to write my sentiment um, in there. So, see? That's how it looks without the card. And that little flourish is using the same paper as this one right here. Okay. So, let me put this down. And there we go. Put that back in. So, see, it's back in there. It's perfect. Absolutely love, love, love this style, the crisscross card. And I'm really happy that Leanne made a tutorial on how to do these because I'm going to make more of them. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay. So that's the one. This right here is my stick pin. Now, this container that I used is the one from Michael's. It's the one where you buy all the paper flowers. I don't think, oh, you're not going to, you're going to be able to tell because I tried to uh, cover up most of everything you could see, but it's the tin that has all the really pretty flowers in there, and they have a bunch of them. It's the Recollection name brand. So I kept those tins knowing that I was going to do this one day. Okay. So this fan right here is a Pro 31 fan. And this right here is the flat back white pearls, like also from Pro 31. It was in my design team, and all I did was cut pieces here and all the little the little lines that were in between. There's little lines in between where you see all this pretty design here. There's a line here, I guess, to show the di like when you close the fans. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. So um, I covered all of that with the pearls. Super pretty. I love it. Then this butterfly right here I got from Betty Bomb Bomb on YouTube. Hi, Elizabeth. And um, there was an earrings, and I took off the earring, and um, there was actually like two of them. They came like this. So see, so um, I unhooked the two, and I hot glue gunned this on to this one right here in the middle, and then I used um, a crocheted flower, and then this bling right here in the middle. That's the one that Pro 31 sells. Now these look like little diamonds. They're glass. They're not plastic, and they're not. There's not the fake, um, the tricking kind like the mesh one. It's actually a real bling. It's beautiful, and I've showed that before also. So that's how I layered them on top. Okay. Then I added. I'm gonna show this up a little bit. Let's see if I can hold it with a steady hand. Okay. Then right here, I have the f um, feather. And then a spray right here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this is also Pro 31 white flower. This was also a Pro 31 flower. My fan, ceiling fan is on. That's the reason why everything is showing. But it's silver. And it's so pretty. It oh, Actually, let me see if I can show a better one right here. Let's put this down. Yeah, right here. Okay, it's, it's like a silver color. And I used my um, smooch sprays. I've, that I've had for like a billion years and um, I wanted to start finishing those off and using them and there's one in there that looks black but it actually is it, when it sprays out is like a metallic color so that's what this one is it was once white so I just altered the color and I did the same thing with this one right here it's altered okay these ones right here are sprayed with, it's kind of like a scintillating silver, but it's by Smooch, so that you guys know what kind of color it is. It's a really pretty silver, light silver, not really potent color that's on those ones. This right here is just a ribbon flower that was in my stash. Then, that flower bling, that black one right there, that's also from Pro 31. This right here is Pro 31 also, the silver flower, and it comes in a whole string of them. So it's kind of like the um, plastic trims, but these are individual. You can cut them in individual pieces. And I just put a black bling in the middle. This right here is a Martha Stewart um, butterfly punch, and all I did was I have some paper that was black on one side, and it's like this metallic um, gray color on the inside. And then I just put um, liquid pearls, a pewter color. This right here is just a gray little recollection flower. Then this is the black flower from I Am Roses. And all I did was took back, because it was kind of puffy, a little too puffy, so I just took off one of the layers of the back. Okay. Then these leaves right here are from Pro 31's also. 
and the little four millimeter flat back pearls are also, and that's what I adhere to the center of the leaves. Okay, this trim right here is from Pro 31 also. These laces are from my stash. So I have a black lace that sits right here and it's about this wide. And then I put this white lace above it and then I put this type of trimming at the bottom. So that's how it looks. And I did not want to cover, because um, you can see the silver tin, which is I'm fine with. I don't mind the silver showing because I have silver accents um, around it on the design. And I didn't want to use paper. I didn't like it. I took the paper out and I wasn't really feeling it. So that's how it looks all the way around. This is the other side now. This is another Martha Stewart punch that I did and I put one of Pro 31's flowers in the middle. They are all sprayed with um, that silver spray, smooch spray. Then this right here is the um, little um, I Am Roses crocheted little flowers. And then this is one of the four millimeter flat backs. I just cut off a piece of it and put it in the center. This right here is, oops, sorry ladies, <laughs> dang it. And this is a little recollection, um, f uh, not recollection, I'm sorry, resin flower. Another ribbon flower. This right here is a Pro 31's flower too. These ones are absolutely beautiful. I love them. So they're super pretty. And then back here you can't see it because it's black, So, but it is the I Am Roses one, like on the other side. Another butterfly with some liquid pearls. And then there's another little butterfly at the bottom that has a little bit of lint on it. There we go. And then another one of those little um, pearl or um, acrylic flowers. Okay. And then I'm going to lift it up a little bit. So you, or actually, here we go. This right here is Pro 31's also. It's like the little tool, and then it has the black layer of the lace or the um, ribbon right here that are attached to one another. And it's like that all the way around. I wanted it so that it went up like that. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to lift it up a little bit so you can see the top. And this is a pretty big size pincushion, too. Not to mention, this is my first one doing this way. Okay. So this right here, this fabric you see, Pro 31 Design sells these also. As me has, has this in her store, she has it in different colors. This is the black and silver. I also have a black and a white one. And um, so, and I know she has other colors on there, but those were the two that came in my design team package. So I want, I knew for a fact I was going to want to make a stick pin cushion. So it's just with the batting in the middle. And I happen to have batting because I make other things and I need it. So these are the stick pins that I use to put in here. I did not do ones to exactly match um, this because I feel that it's just better to have a, an array of colors for whatever project you're doing. And um, plus she's probably going to put more on there that she may have swapped with or made on her own. So that's just how the top looks. And then here's the sides one more time. Okay. So that's how all the flowers look. Okay, so this is my Pro 31's design team project. And I hope you ladies like it. Um, it was a blast doing it. It's my first time doing it. So I see where I may have gone wrong on a couple things. And, you know, now I know how to um, better the situation, I guess you could say. <laughs> But I love how it turned out. I'm about to make another one because I have one more can left. I only saved a couple of them. And um, I'm going to make one for myself out of the other Pro 31 um, fabric that I have. So this is for um, this is for Esme. So this is for her to put her stick pins in. I wanted to make it. wasn't a requirement of the swap. It was just an extra handmade goodie for her. Because it's kind of hard. She's the store owner. So it's like, you know, a lot of girls gift all these things. But she has all that stuff in her store. So it makes it really hard to um, give pretty things away. So I figured, well, you know, I know I love handmade stuff. If that's what I was going to be gifted instead of giving flowers to me or lace and ribbon and stuff like that, I love handmade stuff. Nothing tops that, honestly. So um, I'm hoping that she'll love it and enjoy it because um, I had a blast making this for her. I really did. So thank you ladies so much for stopping by, and I will see you soon, ladies. I hope you had a super fab weekend. 
we did for Cinco de Mayo, we barbecued the Latino style. We had some carne asada. We had all kinds of goods here. And we watched the fight. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so I will talk to you ladies soon. Bye.